Hey everybody. I just popping in on Friday, feeling ashamed of myself because I haven't sewed anything. Um, yeah, just can't get the sewing mojo started. I mean, somebody needs to put some electricity under me. I don't know. I just, I look at the fabric. I look at the patterns. Um, I look at the stuff you guys are making. I lay around and have ideas all day, but nothing has come to fruition yet. I just can't seem to get that first stitch out. <sighs> Somebody help me. Tell me what I need to do. Um, making big plans in my head, but just haven't sewn a thing. So, uh, let's see. Last Friday, I promised you I'd be back. I don't know if I promised you that I would sew something, but if I did make that promise, totally blew that. But I'm still wanting to do the Sew Your Birthday Challenge by Michelle from Michelle Sews Again. And um, I told you I had the perfect piece of fabric for that. And um, so all I really have to show you today is those perfect pieces of fabric that would be perfect for sewing my 1960s birthday. So let's get to it. Okay. The first one I have is this gorgeous piece of, it's kind of like bark cloth, but maybe a hair thinner, but it's really vintage, old, old. I got this at a thrift store locally that sells a lot of vintage fabric, and I just love the colors of this. I don't have a huge piece. It's probably about a yard square. So I have a really simple shorts pattern that's only a couple pieces with a zipper in the back. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use this to make those for my Sew Your Birthday. Um, if that goes good, and if I actually do it, then I have another piece of fabric that is also very 1960s. Now this one isn't from the 60s, but it acts like a 60s fabric. It is psychedelic as it can be. I mean, look at that. That is every color of the rainbow. There is no flip-flops that won't go with this. I've got every flip-flop there is to match this. And um, so I'm thinking about, um, I think I have enough here to make some loungewear, maybe like just a little tank top, like a swing tank top and some little shorts to sleep in and hang around the house in. Um, I already see some pattern placement issues here, don't you? I mean, don't want to get those in the wrong places. To me, that looks like a uterus and two ovaries. Am I wrong? No. I don't want to place that on my chest, so ooh, I have to turn that a different way. I don't know why I saw a uterus and ovaries. Maybe because neither of mine are any good anymore. But, anywho, I could kind of place it on the side angle here. But I like that fabric a lot. It's super stretchy and comfortable. And I do still wear the little tank dress a lot, flip-flops. And um, in fact, now it's a little bit short on me and I think I might take a piece of this and do like a little ruffle at the bottom or something if I have enough left because I wanna get as much use out of that little dress as I can, but it's already very 60s looking. So those are my two possible fabrics for the Sew Your Birthday Challenge. Now I just need to get motivated. This is my problem. Um, I've been doing things. Mom and I went to breakfast today over to Cocoa Beach to um, a place called Simply Delicious. The food is insanely good there. Um, they have baked goods in a case when you walk in and there was like a three-story cake that was amazing. I had to come home and just indulge in that till I was almost sick. Um, but it was really fun at the time. Um, brought home cookies and half our food. So yeah, it was really good, but I am just a mess. I'm, I'm just not put together today. What else has been going on? I took my dog, Grady, who is a collie. I took him with my friend who walks on the beach with me. I took him out to walk on the beach with me this week. And he is, well, let me just see if I can show you Grady. Grady's a collie, like I said, and he's very hairy. Where are you, Grady? Oh, you don't have to get up, Grady. There he goes. He's he's our farm dog. Oh, yes, he's a good boy. Hey, Grady. 
He's a farm dog. He always helps me round up the chickens at night, and he's very gentle with them, and um, he's very good at herding. You know, he can herd anything. Humans, children, chickens, dogs, anything. That's what he does. Hi, Grady. Um, but, so anyways, I took this big hairball of a dog to the beach. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought, you know, he would probably really enjoy the fresh air, go for a ride, and just... You know, I'll just see what he would do. I, to my knowledge, he's never been on the beach. We rescued him when he was nine months old. He's now mm, six or seven, I guess. And um, so we've never had him on the beach, and he's never acted interested in water. But I took him, and I have a photo of us on the beach, and um, I'll try to pop that picture in somewhere here, maybe at the end. But he had a great time. He went right to the surf and started walking in it, and we had a wonderful walk. Um, the thing is, that hair of his holds a lot of sand. So I came prepared. I brought a jug of water to wash, rinse him down with. I brought his brush and I tried to brush him out really good before we got in the car. I thought I did a pretty good job. Um, put a sheet down on the front seat, got him up in there, thing, blah, blah, blah. Well, I still have half a Cocoa Beach in the front seat of my car. Um, it's going to take multiple cleanings to get all that sand out, but we had a good time, so I guess I can sacrifice, but needless to say, he will not be going to the beach again anytime soon. Um, that's just a little too much cleaning out the car in the heat of summer in Florida for me, so glad I did it, but not going to do it again. I may take Tootsie to the beach at some point. She would be really easy to you know she's got short hair and she's good at going places so i may take her the next time and try just trying to get them out of the house and mainly get myself out of the house so um other than that it's just been the normal farm stuff around here we do have a tropical storm coming this weekend and although on the east side of florida i don't think we're going to see very much in the way of wind or anything i'm hoping we get some rain because um even though our ground is saturated i just want it to rain so it will motivate me to sew because I'm that desperate. Like, okay, I'm waiting from, you know, water from the heavens to come down and make me go upstairs and sew. So I'm hoping that will help. Um, I have, my friend in North Carolina has a birthday coming up. I would like to make something for her and I have a project in mind with some upcycled velvet. Um, it's a very old velvet from like a ball gown. Um, and I have saved this fabric for a super long time it's green, kind of like this color green, and it's not a real thick nap velvet. It's just older and kind of distressed looking. I really think she would like it, so I'm going to try to come up with something with that. I've got a few ideas in mind, so if that develops into anything, I will be ready to share it with you next week. But yeah, just cross your fingers for me because the hardest part is just getting up there and starting, and I just, I don't know what is wrong with me. I've never been so lazy in my life. So, anyway, I'm going to keep trying. I hope y'all keep sewing and inspiring me, and um, I guess I'll see you next weekend. Ciao for now.